Fortnite Squad. Yo, what's so up guys, it's your boy Harmony Garak here, welcome back to the channel, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about all of the Season 8 information that we know so far. If you guys don't know, Epic Games did a whole entire Q&A over on Reddit. If you guys are interested in checking out all the information, I will link an article that says all the questions and answers down below in the comments. But anyways, let's just get right into our shout out subs. So my two sub shoutouts in this video goes to Rick Wells, thank you so much for coming to the channel, and also shout out to my man Sonic Gamer 09799. Thank you guys both for coming to the channel. If you want to be as guys that shout out in my future videos, make sure with that big red button there to subscribe. Without further ado, it's your buddy Garden. Let's get right into all of the season eight information that we know so far. Alrighty guys, so if you don't know, Epic Games did a whole entire Q&A over on Reddit. If you guys want to check out every single question and every single answer for yourself, I'll link an article down below in the description. Personally, I'm not going to read every single piece of information because it's just not important to what I'm talking about in this situation. So, if you guys want to go check it out for yourself, it will be linked down below in the description. So I'm going to pick out the main and important pieces of what Season 8 has become and the map in general. So somebody asked just one question to describe Season 8 and Epic Games answered bananas. So guys, you can expect Season 8 being bananas because bananas as in crazy. So it's going to be pretty crazy, at least in their eyes. So the first question I have for you guys otherwise, are there any plans to bring back old popular PUIs such as Risky Reels? I see a ton of requests of bringing them back every once in a while. And Epic Games answers, nothing like this is ever off the table. So we could see more PUIs wise coming in the future such as like when the ice melts out we can see like greasy grove coming back so we could probably expect them coming back we might not be they're never off the table like they said and the next one, you guys probably seen this all over the internet, all over Twitter, all over YouTube. Will planes be gone for next season? Planes will be vaulted at the start of season eight. Get your airtime in now. So planes are going to be vaulted. Make sure you guys use them while you can, because they're not gonna be the game anymore. I know a lot of you guys are like, yay, I know some of you guys are like no. Personally, I could really care less if they're in the game or not. They didn't really bother me that much. So let's get right to the next question. They said, Can we upgrade the battle pass in season eight if we unlocked it for free? If so, how much would it be? So if you guys don't know why he's asking that question, is if you guys don't know with the overtime challenges, if you get 13 challenges of these done, you'll get a free season 8 battle pass. And because you're getting the battle pass for free, how much would the deluxe version cost? It has like 25 tiers. They answered, yes, the season 8 battle pass will be available at a discount for players who earn a season 8 battle pass via the overtime challenges. So the next question I have for you guys is actually about permanent respawning. It says, will respawning ever enter the game? Perhaps more measures to cancel thirsting. Epic Games answer as, we've been considering this mechanic for a while and have been exploring it. Wanting to make sure we give it the full time it needs and fully understand the impact on the game as a whole. Look forward further updates during Season 8. So we could expect like a beta coming soon of like what's coming with respawning. If you guys don't know, the whole reason why there's a bunch of like pop cut, you can only get 500 mats, you get um, shield and health, when you thirst people is because of the whole aspect of this testing to see if this can work in regular games for competitive purposes so we could expect respawning coming in very very soon i don't know we might let me know down below what you think and the next one I have for you guys, this one's pretty irrelevant, but I thought I'd add it anyway. It says, is the double shotgun ever coming back? Such as the double pump. It says, we do not have any plans to bring this back double shotgun. Personally, I don't really expect them to. They said, the main issue is that the high damage of the weapon is balanced by its slow rate of fire and bypassing that weakness that makes it too powerful. So if you guys didn't see that coming, the double pump is not coming the game back whatsoever. The next question is, are there any plans for a classic mode, for example, the original map and only original weapon? and mechanics the answer is sadly we've tried to capture this vibe with our unvolted game mode soon renamed classic ltm we enjoy having the limited and old item set it's unlikely that we'll have this item with the old map and old tuning values but good folks are enjoying the ltm lens around so there's not going to be an ltm coming around where they change the map into the ot map i really kind of wish they added that to be honest i only played towards like the middle of season two so i didn't really experience the og map as much as i should have so they added a pet guy to cool but Sadly, it's not coming back. Sorry, guys. So this next question I have for you guys, I thought this one was kind of funny. It says, is Zapatron returning to BR in the future? And Epic Games answered a what? Question mark. 
thinking emoji, lightning con emoji. So I personally think this gun is going to come back in the near future. They just want to act like it was never in the game because it was not supposed to be in the game in the first place. And they kind of add in the game on accident. So I'm just going to get into the next question. Next question I have for you guys. This one is honestly funny as well. Will the building in Tilted ever be safe? And then they answered with, is anything ever really safe? I thought it was kind of funny because places around the map are being destroyed all the time, being replaced all the time. So no place is safe and then it says are you planning to keep the drift board or will it just be a limited time thing this is also really big for season eight we're working on a new single occupying vehicle and aren't quite sure how they'll play together the drift board's reception has been really positive though so we're actively discussing how long it should stick around so they're working on a brand new one person vehicle but then the feedback on the drift board has been insanely good so we don't know we don't know what they're going to do we don't know what they're going to do with the whole map situation as well we're going to have to find out on c in season eight so the next question and answer I have for you guys, this one is honestly really, really sad. It says, do you have any plans to bring back bouncers? The answer was not at the moment. So there's going to be no bouncers coming anytime soon. I really thought they would change their answer or really think because the community really wants them, but sadly, they're not going to change it. Next question I have for you guys, do you guys miss the prison as much as I do? And Epic answered yes. So if Epic misses OG places, we miss the OG places. You know what you got to do, Epic? Bring back some OG places. The next question I have for you guys, could you add the option for all consoles, including the Nintendo Switch to lower graphic settings and remove things like motion blur and shadows. The answer was, we are adding an option to disable motion blur off by default in Season 8. Disabling shadows currently provides a gameplay benefit. This is not our intention and we are tweaking the way shadows are rendered to both brighten them and also make characters stand out better. This is going to be an ongoing effort within V8.0 and we'll evaluate other options if this doesn't end up working. So the final two question and answers I have for you guys, it is, do you intend on improving the gameplay sound? The answer was, in the last few weeks, we've started reviewing our gameplay audio and found there's a lot of room for improvement. Season 8's update will contain, it's a bunch of information about the sound effects, the SFX in the game, such as if someone's to your left, to your right, you're drinking a big pot and all that. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll leave it on screen right now. But the final and last question I have for you guys, it is, can you add a button to the item shop to confirm purchases to prevent access? accidental purchases. If you guys don't know why I'm saying this, the answer was we are working on ways to eliminate accidental purchases. In the meantime, you have a refund token system to help. So if you guys don't know why I'm doing this, it's because in my live stream, my man Arctic Penguin, he was looking at a pickaxe and instead of pressing X, he pressed square and bought the pickaxe on accident. So I thought I'd add that in the video, letting you guys know that it's going to be fixed in the future. But it's all I have for you guys in this video, letting you guys know everything upcoming in season eight and in general. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you made it this far into the video, comment pancakes and you'll get a special surprise. Make sure, make sure you like this video if you enjoyed. Comment what you think of this. What Are you excited for Season 7? Let me know down below in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new, guys. I'm going to stop talking. I'll talk to you guys later. You will, not, you will not be disappointed with the content that I bring out for you guys. Without further ado, it's your Blinnick Argon. I will talk to you guys in a couple hours with a brand new video if no news happens. But I'll see you later with a brand new stream. It'll be a late night stream. See you there. Peace.